Hello everyone and welcome back to AutoCraft. There was actually an update released, um, I can't remember when the game came out now. The game came out I think two days ago and there was an update the day before that added a bunch of new stuff including a bunch of new levels. But today we're not actually going to play those new levels, we're going to do some more sandbox stuff because that's what you guys have been asking me to do. So uh, we'll do the levels themselves in another episode. But... I've actually loaded up some of the uh, some of the creations that are already made by the developer, and they're pretty cool, man. Um, I must say, he's got a bunch <laughs> of really insane uh, vehicles made. I'm not sure if he made any more after um, after the last update or not. But he added a bunch of new parts. Like we have um, apparently atom bombs now. Oh, look at this! To be different color blocks here. Um, the new people I already showed you. Uh, where's the atom bomb? I need to find weapons. Weapons. Here we go. Weapons. Atomic Warhead. Look at that. We gotta we have to drop an atomic warhead on something, okay? But anyway, this is the um bomber or something. We I'll just show you that real quick. I don't even remember how to make it go anywhere, but there's there's a button for it. Oh yeah, okay. Space. And then basically the way it works is there is two or one I don't see another one. Oh yes, there's another one inside there that actually allows you to point where you want to go. So now you can fly around like this with uh, up and down and the propellers actually bring you forward. I've had people ask me if I could fly out to this thing so that's why I'm still going in this direction. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can, I'm pretty sure we're almost there. It's it's just a giant spinny thing so we should be able to crash into it. At least uh, I want to crash into it because that sounds like fun to me. And um, since there's anti-gravity there's actually a lot of vehicles you can make and not worry about the physics of it and be like oh crap we can't make this vehicle because of physics. Nope! With anti-gravity you can do whatever the hell you want. Oh god. Oh god. Here we are. It's big. It is huge. This thing is way bigger than I thought it was. I'm going through it. Okay, apparently you can't touch it. Alright, well I guess what we'll do is... Okay, we're at a different place now. I guess what we'll do is we'll look at a few more of the thingies that we can load up here, like I said. Um, we'll look at them, and then we will make our own. Actually, we might actually mod the helicopter. Where, where's, where's the helicopter at? That's what I wanted to mod. I don't, I don't see it. I thought there was a helicopter here somewhere. We do have a, um, wait, where'd it go? Ah, there we go. Anti-grav cruiser. So this thing has an anti-gravity thing in it somewhere. Where, where is that thing? Oh, there it is. There's a couple in it. Okay, there's a couple. I don't know why. I don't I don't think you need more than one. We'll assume you do. Okay, look at that. Anti-grav, oh, okay, I see how it is. Okay, how do I go back? What the hell am I doing? Oh, I know what I did. I, I, I rotated the things. Okay, we need to unrotate those or something. What the hell am I doing right now? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right. Still really confused, guys. Still extremely confused. Why don't we forget about this one? This one is too hard to control. I'm really curious as to what the hell Enola Gay is. Enola Gay. Okay, it's some kind of some kind of flying thing. Let's look at the controls real quick. Okay, W to go up, left and right. Everything seems to make sense this time, which is nice. And space to go forwards. Okay. Oh wait, this is a this is a droppy thingy. We, you drop it with J, and it lands on stuff. I think it may blow things up. Okay, hang on. Wait for the wait for the frame rate to come back here, if it's going to. Okay, maybe it won't. That's fine. Whatever. And you point it. Aha! There we go. Everything's good. Everything's good. So you should actually be able to just fly. No, damn it! Frame rate Y. Where are the towers? There's a bunch of towers in this level somewhere. I know it because there's um, there's actually an achievement or something for getting them all, or there's a there's at least a list that tells you how many you've destroyed. I don't see any now. Where where are them towers at? Ah ah! Stop! Wait wait! Shit! There it is. Appeared out of nowhere. Okay, that's why I couldn't find it. It wasn't loaded onto the graphics. It's one of those hidden towers. Okay. Um, how do I go back down? Does anyone know? Okay, let me just drop. Come on. Do your job. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Is it gonna blow? It blew up! Holy shit, that was amazing! I need to get back down there. I need to try that again. Go! Turn, turn, look. Look at it. Spin, spin. Oh my god, that is an explosion right there. If only it had explosion noises. It, the explosion noises would've been better. Okay guys, I think it is time for us to create our own. I don't know if you can actually just switch to a different place that actually, um, 
using your machine. But we'll just take this machine and we'll take it down to where I want to go, which is which is down here. And we'll also drop the uh, drop the atomic bomb thing. It's not atomic bomb. The other one's an atomic bomb. This one is just a uh, I don't know. It explodes on impact. That's all I know. So yeah, we just drop it right down here on our way down. Choop. Oh shit! Oh shit! That wasn't that that wasn't right. That was what I was supposed to do. Oh man. Okay, that is some serious uh, hurting going on. I'm sorry about that, bro. Okay, so let's clear this out, and we got to start. And we are going to make the magic school bus, guys. I've got I've got like a magic school bus picture up on my screen, and I'm going to use it to recreate that thing. I did the same thing in in uh, Crash Tastic, but of course with Crash Tastic, you can't really recre you can't really create uh, very good replicas of anything because of the fact that it's just little sticks and connectors. But this this has what it takes to be the magic school bus, and we're going to make it that. All right, we are going with yellow connectors here for our magic school bus. Uh, we're also going to put yellow plates on it after as well, but for now, this is what we're doing. Okay? I'm not really sure how long to make the magic school bus. I'm thinking maybe this long for the main part, and then I mean, we're going to have to we're going to have to adjust this after and put other things in there, but let's just assume this is what we're doing for now. It's going to take a little while because there's a lot of parts that got to go in here. No big deal. Well, I'm thinking I'm thinking uh, I think we should put a guy in here. What what guy do we want? Let's, let's get the purple guy. Let's get the purple guy in here. What is he? What kind of animal is that? I love it. It's beautiful. Okay, he's a furry. No big deal. The racing wheel goes faster. We're not looking for speed here with the wheel itself. So I think we should be good with this. This is our basic, like, you know, basic uh, look for the bus. We also gotta have windows in it for our, our students and shit. You know, those little bastards that sit in the bus. And we also have to have rockets on the back. And, uh, and wings. Okay, wing tip and wing wing tip there, something like that. I think that looks pretty cool to be honest, because the Magic School Bus has a bit of a a thicker wing to it. Maybe we could move that in. Maybe we could just have it like this length there, like that. I like that. I I think this looks good there and there. Okay, now we got ourselves wings. Look at this. It is shaping up to be a Magic School Bus or something. All right, guys, I'm doing my very best with what I got. We can't put wings on the top because uh, the wings align down the very uh, the very middle between two blocks, and then it, you'd have to put two there, and it doesn't look right. And I don't think it would look right if we had three a, uh, a three three wide school bus. So we're going with this, okay? I think it looks good so far. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie at all. So so far we've got the basic design of a school bus, but we don't have any rockets on the back yet, and it's not a school bus without rockets, okay? Uh, there's rocket thrusters, but there's also these other bigger rocket thrusters. Let me see. Five, five, max thrust. Same max thrust, except this one moves. We don't need them to move, and these will probably look better on our school bus. Okay. Look at that. This is damn sexy. Look, look at this. Look at this magic school bus we got going on here. We also got yellow plates we can put on to make the school bus look more yellow. <laughs> more yellow! Okay guys, I just realized that there's actually fins you can put on the Magic School Bus. It's a very small fin, but maybe it'll work. Maybe if we take this off and put it there. Oh, that is that is not gonna work. How about a large fin? Uh, okay, okay, we'll go with we'll go with a large fin. Just a little something on top, just to resemble the original. Okay, I've decided that I'm gonna put a little accent in the front. It's actually the you know the, the front of a bus. A lot of buses have like a black front to it, so that's what I'm putting on here. And then we've just got a little bit more left to plate, and then we'll decide what we're doing with the whole um the whole propulsion situation. We got something in the back to push it forwards, of course, but we don't have anything to actually keep it up in the air. Or get it up in the air at all. Look at that freaking magic school bus. I don't know about you, Miss Frizzle, but I'm ready to go on an adventure. Well, not exactly quite ready, but I'll be ready soon, okay? So just wait. Let's just let's just have a look at this before we do anything. Let's have a look. So no power. So we need power with the wheels. So we gotta stick some power in there. All right, now we got power. Pretend that the power in there is actually children happily riding the magic school bus. Wait, wait, what am I saying? Let's put some children in the damn magic school bus. If this works, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, oh snap. We have an old cons people on a magic school bus now. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, okay. Let me, let me just, let me just get all our friends down here. Get all our friends on this magic school bus, okay? Oh, we can alt click to actually delete things. I forgot that. I always waste time trying to pull things off. God, Matt, get with the program. This is 2014, bitch. Oh shit, you can also click like this. You don't even need to drag. If you hold control, you can just put stuff on like that. I really need to start paying attention to whatever the hell's going on in this game. Okay, look, we have a full bus full of magic school bus riders. And in the middle, we're going to have to put an anti-grav thing. 
Because you know what? The magic school bus is magic, okay? It needs to have something to, to lift magicness up in the air. And that's gonna be anti-gravity. Where the hell is anti-gravity? Anti-gravity. What are all these tubes and things? These are really cool, man. There's like tubes and there's a hyperdrive tube. I have no idea what a hyperdrive tube tube is. I don't know what it does. It doesn't look like it does anything. It looks like it's just crash tolerance, just like everything else. Just cosmetic. Where? Where's the thingy? I can't find the freaking anti-grav. I'm blind, aren't I? I'm totally blind. Oh, that's the anti-gravity machine right here. See, I, I thought it looked a little bit different than that. I, I'm, I'm sorry, it took me forever. We can put it right here, and I don't know. The other one had two in it. I'm just going to assume that you, you, you could balance it out. I don't really think you need to balance it out at all. I'm just going to see how this flies, guys. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to see how this flies. you got to give it a second because this, this thing got to find out what the hell it is before it... Uh, before it'll give us a, a decent performance, but once it does, once the game decides that 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 the Magic School Bus is the best thing and since sliced bread, we, we'll we'll get going, right? Oh, I know what we forgot to put in, guys. We forgot to put in power for our actual um for our actual thrusters. That's what we got to do. We got to put in some power. Hydrogen fuel is where it's at, guys. Put it put it to your heart's content. Just stick it in there. It's probably totally gonna lag my computer out when I do this now. It's beautiful. It's just perfect. Okay, magic school bus. Work your magic. Work your school bus. Oh, crap. Okay. I screwed up. But we're going. We're in the air. We're in the air. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay. Doesn't matter if our bus is a little bit beat up. Did we lose anybody? Is everybody okay? Everybody's just fine. See? So the only thing we're missing now, guys, is the ability to point our craft up and down. I'm not really sure how to fix that. I'm not really sure the best way to actually... Um, to actually work that out. Okay, I think I've got it now. I think I've got it. Now we can go to edit. We can make this one go up with S. Like that. And the other one will go down. I don't know what these wings do. I'm not going to really... I I don't know what to do because W and S it says. For left and right. That doesn't make any sense. Or maybe it means the left wing does that and the right wing does that. I don't know. Okay, we're just going to give this a look here. W should bring it... The other way. Okay, there, 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 we got it, we got it. We're up in space. Once we get in space, once we get our magic school bus into space, uh, the frame rates will stop being shit, okay? I promise. Oh, look at that, we get 10 frames per second. All right. Okay, we've done it. We are in space with our magic school bus. Look at that. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? We are freaking in space with a magic school bus. This game can't handle the awesomeness that this magic school bus has to offer. Unfortunately, I don't know how to turn left and right now. Okay, now if I've done everything correctly, this magic school bus, although it's crap when it comes to actually, like, you know, having a frame rate, it should be able to fly around now. Okay, alright, it's a little off balance. It is a little bit off balance. Not a big deal, okay? Not a big deal. Like Miss Frizzle said, get make mistakes and get pregnant or something. Alright guys, we've made a magic school bus. I'm really proud of that, and now we're gonna make something else, okay? We're gonna take a dude, we're gonna put him in here. And we're gonna make a little tiny, a little tiny flying machine. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be small, okay? But it's gonna do the trick, I think. We're gonna have propellers on each side of this thing, which will actually move it left and right. And on bottom, we are going to have an atomic bomb, I think. If the atomic bomb goes on the way, I think it does. It does. It goes on like that. And there's an edit, I guess. Oh no. Okay. We need, we need to actually use a decoupler on it. We can get a decoupler or whatever the hell you call these things. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Um. I meant to. I meant to start the game and not die, but apparently that was not the plan of the game. If this thing touches anything, apparently it kills you. So in that case, <laughs> we need to. We need to switch some stuff up here. Okay. I've officially stopped caring, guys. It's going on the top, and we're just gonna crash into something. Which way are we going? Left. Let's go left. We don't really have a whole lot of power, do we? Why don't we, why don't we just crash? Because because this game is confusing the hell out of me now. And I'm pretty sure it's eating the hell out of my processor or something. Look at this. Okay, crash. Boom! An explosion and the guy goes flying. And now we're just going to slowly float through space forever. Alright guys, I just want to show you one more thing really quickly before I end this video. It turns out that the reason that my game was lagging uh, had something to do with the fact that I was running it a while, I guess, because I actually quit and got back into it and now everything seems to be running okay. Check that out. No lag whatsoever. It's running at 180 frames per second, so I don't want you to think that the game is always uh, shit in its pants, because apparently it's not. And there you go. And we'll just, we'll just watch this crash.
Okay, it didn't blow up. Maybe the bomb should... There you go. Touch the ground. That's the good stuff. All right. Well, I will end this video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of AutoCraft. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.